All right, so welcome back to QNAP Live Room. I'm Kim Stanley, and today we are going to bring you a new series of our uh, popular models. So this model is actually uh, TVS dash HX seventy four. So seventy four series is powered by uh, Intel uh, Core i uh, family CPU, and uh, we have done several up, up, upgrade, uh, including uh, PCI Gen four and uh, uh, more uh, bandwidth for uh, 10 gig or 25 gig uh, Ethernet uh, expansion and also uh, M.2 SSD NVMe slots okay so uh, in nowadays uh, NAS is actually uh, provide uh, several uh, application and uh, uh, service uh, including uh, file server and backup server and also uh, we expect NAS can run some of our uh, VMs or uh, SQL Server maybe and uh, also a simple surveillance station for uh, your uh, office or your uh, uh, working area so uh, in that way we have uh, we have new Intel 12th gen uh, CPU uh, with more uh, uh, powerful performance on uh, application uh, running an application so uh, we have four. Uh, we have three different models, including the uh, TVS dash H four seventy four dash PT dash eight gig, and also we have six bay TVS dash H six seventy four dash I three and the dash I five, and also TVS dash H A seventy four dash I five. So we have three. Uh, four different SKU, SKU in uh, three models okay and uh, if you have noticed that we have add a uh, H on the uh, model name so uh, it means we have support uh, QUTS hero our uh, ZFS based uh, file system for uh, the whole family for uh, 74 series so uh, you can choose uh, either uh, QUTS hero or uh, QTS on the first initialization uh, for the uh, 74 series okay so uh, for uh, how to choose uh, the uh, operating system so if you need some uh, advanced uh, functions such as uh, inline compression or uh, inline deduplication uh, we recommend you to use the uh, ZFS Base, uh, file system which is our uh, QUTS hero and uh, for uh, normal uh, for normal usage you can choose the uh, original QTS as well okay so uh, the uh, so in this time we uh, have choose several uh, CPU SKUs for our 74 series so uh, we take a uh, ex example for uh, i5. So now the uh, max frequency for uh, i5 dash one two four zero zero can burst up to uh, four point four uh, gigahertz, and with six core up to six core and twelve uh, twelve threads, and the uh, single core compared to uh, the last generation have uh, nearly uh, two times of uh, improvement and the overall CPU mark uh, compared to the uh, 72 series are now 3.55 uh, times faster okay so uh, let's take a, a detailed look for the uh, CPU that we use uh, this time on the uh, 74 series so the first one uh, would be uh, the Pentium uh, G7400 uh, it is a dual, uh, dual core four threads can uh, burst up to 3.7 gigahertz and uh, we use the, these uh, Pentium CPU on the 4 bay model which is uh, TVS-H474 and uh, the second one uh, would be uh, core i3-12100 uh, it is a four core eight thread CPU uh, max frequency can uh, burst up to 4.3 gigahertz and the i3 will be used on the uh, tvs-h6 
74. And the last one would be uh, Core i5 dash i uh, Core i5 uh, which is a uh, six core, twelve thread CPU, converts up to uh, four point four GHz. And uh, we have uh, i5 on our uh, six bay and eight bay. Okay, and this time uh, we choose the uh, CPU all with the uh, GPU integrate uh, so uh, we have new UHD 700 series built in uh, in the CPU so uh, for the i5 uh, i5 SKU the uh, GPU model will be UHD graphics 770 which have uh, 32 EUs and for uh, i3 12100 the uh, GPU will be uh, UHD graphics 730, which have uh, 24 EU. And for uh, Pentium G7400, the GPU uh, is UHD graphics uh, 710, uh, 18, uh, which is 18, uh, uh, 16 EUs. So uh, the EU is actually stands for the execution units that is uh, that is uh, for the uh, performance uh, upgrade for the uh, GPU uh, graphics related uh, functions. So uh, more, the more EU that can bring uh, more performance on uh, the uh, graphics uh, application. So uh, such as our uh, AI application like uh, OpenVINO or our uh, QMAG, our smart, uh, smart album. Okay, so uh, let's take a look for the uh, front view of all three models. So we will have uh, LED indicators including uh, HDD, uh, status, LAN, and USB, and M.2 SSD, and also uh, uh, 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch uh, disk slots. And, uh, and this time we have a uh, lockable tray uh, on all three models so uh, in the package you will come with uh, the key for the tray and on the right hand side we have uh, our power button and the one touch, uh, one touch copy button with uh, USB 3.1 Gen 2 10 gig speed of the uh, USB port type A port okay so on the rear view we have a slightly difference between uh, four bay and the six bay, eight bay. So uh, the uh, the first one on the uh, six bay and eight bay will be the PCI slots. So as you can see, we have two PCI slots. The first one will be uh, PCI Gen four by sixteen. The second one is PCI Gen four by four. Okay, and continue on the below. So we have we will also have a HDMI output which supports uh, V1.4B for the uh, HDMI output port, uh, output, uh, output port. And also we have two uh, dual 2.5 gig LAN ports and the two USB 3.2 Gen, uh, 3.1 Gen 2, uh, one in type A, another one in type C. Okay, on the right hand side, we have the uh, smart fan for uh, the system side and the uh, CPU side. And we also have uh, internal power supply, which is 250 watts. Okay, so the four bay, uh, we have a little uh, different between uh, from the uh, six bay and eight bay. So the major difference is that the uh, second PCI slot is uh, PCI Gen 3 by 2. But the first one, uh, but the first PCI uh, slot uh, is uh, PCI Gen Gen 4 by 16 as well. And we also provide uh, HDMI output, uh, dual 2.5 gig LAN port, and the dual uh, USB 3.1 Gen 2 slot, uh, 3.1 Gen 2 port. Okay, so uh, for the uh, built-in HDMI can uh, be used on video output or uh, your civilian station. So the uh, graphics, uh, the Intel UHD graphics from uh, 770 can uh, support up to uh, 32 EUs 
uh, it is dedicated uh, ex execution unit for uh, graphics uh, related process. Okay, and uh, you can also uh, optional to purchase our uh, Q button, uh, which is our, our remote controller to uh, control your NAS uh, from your TV. Okay, and we also have a hybrid desk station that can uh, use the uh, use the uh, HDMI port from uh, your NAS to connect to your uh, connect to your screen or your monitor. And you can also connect a uh, mouse or uh, any keyboard to the uh, NAS USB port to uh, use the NAS just like a, a Linux uh, desktop. Okay, and we also have uh, smart cooling, uh, smart cooling functions that can uh, dynamically uh, adjust the. Uh, Airflow from uh, both CPU side and HDD side to improve the overall performance. Okay, so uh, the next page will be our uh, internal view. So as I have mentioned before, we have uh, M.2 SSD slots. So as you can see for the four bay, on the uh, bottom we have two M.2 2280 NVMe PCI Gen 3 by two slots. And on the top, we have a dual DDR4 sodium uh, memory slot. Okay. And for the uh, 6-bay and 8-bay, the uh, M.2 SSD slot is uh, PCI Gen 4. Okay. And uh, for the SSD cache acceleration, that can uh, improve uh, our NAS performance with SSD cache. So SSD have uh, more, the uh, much more higher IOPS than the original uh, hard hard drive, and it is shockproof and have uh, thinner, uh, is thinner and have lower uh, power consumption. That can uh, help you to boost your uh, performance on your NAS. Okay, so uh, for different system, we have a uh, requirement for. Uh, requirement memory for uh, different uh, SSC cache capacity. So I'll uh, take example if you are if you are uh, if you want to have uh, one terabyte of uh, SSC cache capacity in QTS, you will need to have at least two gig of uh, the memory. As for the uh, QTS hero, you will need. Uh, more than uh, 32 gig of memory in order to have uh, one terabyte of uh, the SSD cache capacity. Okay, and another one will be our Q tier, uh, which is, which is uh, auto tiering for uh, speed and uh, capacity on NAS. So it is it can automatically move data between different tiers. And config uh, and separate them uh, to uh, hot data, warm data, and cold data. And uh, please be uh, notice that this uh, Q tier is only support in uh, QTS, not in uh, QTS Hero. Okay, and our uh, whole family of seventy four series is built in with dual two point five gig LAN ports. That can uh, provide uh, 2.5 times for the uh, connection speed, and you can still using your existing uh, Cat 5e cables to have uh, 2.5 gig speed. Okay, and our uh, TVS H74 series also supports uh, dual slot wide uh, GPU car. So we can install the GPU card to for uh, VMs or for uh, AI, AI applications. So uh, if you're if you uh, we don't have we don't provide uh, additional power pin for the GPU, so we only support uh, PCI bus powered uh, GPU card. And you can refer our uh, maximum dimension uh, for. Uh, 4 bay and 6 bay and 8 bay to choose your uh, GPU card. Okay, speak, uh, speaking of the uh, PCI slots, 
The first PCI slot is actually PCI Gen 4 by 16. So it can support our uh, expansion card, including uh, networking, uh, storage, Wi-Fi, and uh, storage expansion card, such as our uh, QXP SAS or SATA or USB expansion card. And of course, our uh, QXG, which is our uh, network interface card, which is NIC. And for PCI slots number two, it is support uh, QM2 expansion for uh, to expand uh, M.2 SSD slots and uh, 10 gig Ethernet. So uh, for 6 bay and 8 bay, the second PCI slot is uh, PCI Gen 4 by 4. And for 4 bay, the PCI slot, uh, uh, the number two PCI slot is PCI Gen 3 by 4 uh, by 2. Okay, and uh, QM2 cards can uh, support for uh, SSD Kjen and 10 gig connectivity. So you can uh, you can refer to our website for uh, more detailed information for uh, QM2. And of course, in this series, we support a uh, fiber channel car for FC SAN. So we support 16 gig and uh, 32 gig for the uh, fiber channel. You can manage the uh, fiber channel com connection uh, with our iSCSI and fiber channel app in the QTS or QTS Hero. Okay, and uh, we have uh, so QNAP have uh, launched several uh, switch product in uh, last few years. So uh, we have uh, several uh, several uh, budget friendly switch, which is a managed. So as you can see, we have uh, QSW-1105-5T. Uh, so it's a, uh, a management uh, fi uh, 5 port of uh, 2.5 gig uh, Ethernet. And it is designed in fanless and metal housing. And we also have uh, several budget friendly uh, 10 gig and 1 gig uh, combo, uh, combo, combo switch as well. And for uh, more advanced uh, ether, Ethernet uh, vacation, we also have a layer 2 managed switch for uh, multi-user environment and efficient uh, deployment. So you can refer our uh, uh, you can refer our model we have list on the page. Okay, and we also have uh, the Q Hora. Uh, th 321 and the 322 so uh, it is actually a uh, switch so uh, it can be uh, so it can be uh, dual one for uh, backup usage or uh, multiple physical interface for assigning uh, same subnet network usage in your uh, office environment okay so next part will be our uh, performance so uh, in order to have the highest performance for the uh, for the 74 series, we have uh, installed our uh, 25 gig Ethernet uh, NIC car. So as you can see on the uh, TVS-H874, we have installed the QXG-25G2SF-CX6. So as you can see, the uh, the read performance on the uh, A74 is actually uh, 2100 megabyte per second and for the uh, write performance is nearly uh, 200, uh, 2800 megabyte per second for A bay and for the 6 bay the uh, read is actually 2000 and the write is uh, nearly 2900 megabyte per second as for four bay, uh, the uh, drive slot is uh, less than six bay and eight bay, so the performance will be a little bit lower. So as you can see, the uh, read performance is actually uh, one thousand and four hundred megabyte per second, and the write is uh, to uh, nearly two thousand megabyte per second. Okay, so uh, we have a uh, demonstration for the uh, performance 
So as you can see, we have uh, a TVS H A74 with uh, 32 gig of memory, and we have installed the uh, QSG 25G 2SF CX6 on the NAS and connect with our client PC uh, with uh, the internal connection which is running at uh, 25 gigabit per second so we have prepared a uh, IO meter to uh, test the uh, speed so let's run in the test Oh, and uh, we have actually installed eight uh, SATA SSD and uh, one M.2 SSD on the NAS to build a RAID 5 uh, storage. Okay, so you can see the first, the first run, uh, the first run, uh, the performer is, uh, the performance is uh, 2,500 megabyte per second. And the second round you can see is uh, nearly 4,000, uh, 4,300 megabyte per second for the uh, IO speed. Okay, so uh, we have also prepared a uh, demonstration to install M.2 and uh, uh, PCIe car. So uh, here's our 4 bay uh, 74 series, uh, 474. So, uh, in order to uh, install either M02 or a PCIe card, you need to remove the cover. So you need to unscrew one, two, and three screws. Then you can uh, pull up the cover to remove them. Okay, on this side, as you can see, we have our uh, sodium slot memory slots. We have dual slot. That uh, this one is actually pre-installed with a uh, single 8 gig of memory, and on the bottom we have uh, M.2 SSD slots. So uh, it's really simple to uh, install the M.2 SSD. You just need to uh, install the. You need to click the PCIe interlap place and push it. So uh, if you hear one, one click, it is now installed on the uh, on, on the seventy four. Okay, and uh, so uh, if you want to add a PCIe slot, a PCIe car, you will need to uh, remove the uh, power supply unit. So remove remove the power supply unit. You will need to uh, unscrew one, two, three these three screws. And also uh, two screws in the uh, two screws in the back. Then you can pull off the uh, the uh, power supply unit. So here's our uh, the top one is our uh, PCIe Gen four by sixteen, and the second one is our uh, PCIe Gen four by four uh, uh, Gen three by four in uh, four bay and uh, PCI Gen 4x4 in 6 bay and 8 bay so uh, if you need uh, so you can uh, remove the uh, cover with your screws in this side to unscrew this and you can install the uh, PCI card to here okay so here's our uh, demonstration move back to the slice okay so uh, we have also prepared uh, several uh, application introduction for uh, our uh, QTS Hero, which is a uh, ZFS based uh, operating system, a file system. So, uh, QTS Hero can support uh, uh, powerful data reduction technology to uh, ex extend the SSD endurance. 
So uh, it is called uh, deduplication. So it is actually uh, it is actually uh, dedupe the uh, data before actually writing to the disk. So uh, in order to use the uh, deduplication in uh, QBTS Hero, you will need a minimum uh, 16 gig of memory. Okay, and the ZFS also provide uh, uh, can uh, prevent signed data corruption and self-healing functions, can avoid signed data corruption that occurred on the uh, running system. Okay, and in the uh, QTS zero five point zero point one and after we can uh, support a uh, quick search on the uh, Windows uh, search protocol that can support for uh, NAS share folders. Uh, you can search some uh, advanced. Uh, you can search uh, advanced files search by uh, time or uh, file type or the size. Okay, and we also have a uh, license-free backup solution to uh, provide the most complete data backup protection. So we have three different uh, backup solutions. So the first one is our uh, HBS3, which is hybrid, uh, hybrid backup sync 3. It is a, uh, a file level uh, multi-version managing uh, for the uh, backup. And also snapshot and replica it is a uh, file level and multi uh, multi version management as well. And we also have SnapSync, which is a uh, block level uh, backup. Can uh, mirror the data, copy, and always keep up to date. Okay, so uh, here's the uh, SnapSync. Uh, you can. Uh, uh, you can sync your uh, primary NAS to secondary NAS by schedule or a uh, real real time snapshot can uh, have to can ensure minimal RPO with the uh, real time uh, dis disaster recovery. Okay, and we also have uh, our uh, file management uh, application in QTS and QTS Hero. It will be uh, file station. And on your mobile, it will be Q file. So the file station and Q file can uh, manage all the files on your local NAS and the remote NAS, and also can connect to cloud storage such as the uh, Dropbox, OneDrive, or uh, Google Drive, and more. Okay, and we also have a collaboration uh, protocol with file uh, file station. So we can support uh, Office Online and Google Docs as well. Uh, you can uh, save to NAS in real time for uh, those uh, for those uh, files, and can have uh, multi-user online editing as well. Okay. And we also have uh, QSync 5.0. It is a cross-device file sync for individual and teams. So you can uh, set up uh, QSync on your uh, Windows or Mac OS to sync a specific uh, folders to your NAS, and also you can uh, set up on your uh, on on your mobile as well. Okay, so uh, next one is our uh, HBS3. So uh, can uh, help you to fulfill the backup 321 practice with uh, deduplication. So uh, you can uh, so you can use the HBS3 to schedule the uh, backup job to uh, local NAS, to remote NAS, and for uh, portable use in order to have three different copies for your uh, backups. Okay, and we also have uh, Hypermon for uh, greater storage and faster access. Uh, so uh, we have two different, uh, we have two different uh, mode. So we have a network drive mount and a file cloud gateway. 
So we recommend you to use uh, File Cloud Gateway. So we have two free connect, uh, two free connections for uh, the uh, free versions. And uh, the File Cloud Gateway support our uh, QSearch and QMagic, QMusic, and QVideos for uh, for uh, greater uh, compatibility. And next, if you are have a uh, if you have a VMware or a Hi a Hyper V that you want to uh, backup, we have Hyper Data Protector. To, uh, it is a backup solution for uh, virtual machines. So we have unlimited uh, VM backups and license free for the hybrid data protector, as long as your uh, storage is uh, enough. So uh, it also provides uh, active backup solution and can restore at any time point. And uh, it can be uh, monitored in our web page. Okay. And we also have box save for uh, backup solution for uh, Google Workspace and Microsoft uh, 365. So uh, it can help you to keep your important data in your hands instead of the uh, cloud storage. And uh, it can move and you can also move older or large data from uh, out from the uh, cloud to reduce the sub subscription cost for the uh, cloud space. So we support uh, Gmail, Google Drive, Contacts, and Calendar for uh, Google Workspace, and uh, Outlook, Contacts, uh, Calendar, OneDrive for uh, Microsoft 365. Okay. Uh, and we also have hybrid mount is cascade share the access permission to remote de device the remote data mount by smb or nfs can be uh, shared with other devices with folder permission to uh, uh, achieve a cascade uh, share architecture and we also have email backup solution which is qmail agent that can uh, that can easily to auto backup all your emails and attachments from uh, different uh, uh, from different providers such as Gmail, uh, Yahoo Mail, and Outlook. And you can backup emails for uh, disaster recovery and encryption to protect uh, backup uh, the private uh, private emails. Okay, and we also support uh, VG, uh, graphics card to add uh, HTML output or uh, improve uh, VM or container performance. So uh, we we don't provide another uh, we, we don't provide additional power cables for uh, the VGA card. So you will need to use uh, those VGA card uh, without uh, power pin cable, such as the uh, NVIDIA. GTX uh, 1650, uh, 1050, or 1030. So you can use the uh, path-through functions uh, in the virtualization station and container station or uh, Linux station as well. So uh, we, have, uh, also, we also have a virtual machine and uh, container apps for uh, the uh, NAS. So on the left-hand side, it, uh, is our uh, virtualization station that can create a virtual machine on your NAS. We support uh, Windows, Linux, Unix, and several uh, operating systems. And on the right hand side, we have container station that can support, uh, that can help you to use uh, Docker, a uh, lightweight uh, virtualization technologies. So you can also download the uh, download apps from uh, the Docker Hub. Okay. And we also support uh, SRLV to improve the network performance of virtual machine by 20% with hardware acceleration. Okay. And you can also uh, establish and run dual system on your NAS, uh, Ubuntu and uh, QTS0 at one uh, system. 
So uh, we support a uh, different version from uh, Ubuntu, from uh, 16.04, 18.04, 20.04. Okay, and for the uh, file management, we have uh, several handy tools. The uh, left one, left hand one, uh, will be our Q search. It's actually a uh, Google-like search tool in your NAS. You can search uh, image, uh, music, video, document, email by uh, keywords and uh, filters. And we have five advanced uh, image search. Uh, which contains uh, search by face, text in image, things, color, and map. And uh, we support Q filing to perform perform the uh, the uh, task based on your search uh, criteria. So uh, Q filing can uh, automatically to automatically to file and archiving your uh, your uh, data or. Uh, your data or your uh, document. So we have several type of the task and uh, we have two type of task and three type of uh, scheduling and the night editing modules uh, help to help you to uh, filing your uh, documents automatically. And we'll also uh, integrate the uh, notification into our notification center. Uh, it's now centralized uh, for uh, all uh, application uh, notifications. So uh, it supports a uh, multiple notification method and uh, highly flexible rule of settings and support uh, multi-language up to uh, 23 different language. And we also have a Q log center to uh, analyze and monitor your uh, all your log file that can uh, help you to track in the uh, connection or uh, monitor uh, the uh, apps. As for the uh, surveillance uh, application, we have uh, QVR Elite which is our new surveillance system that it is, uh, it is actually a, uh, the file format is now MP4. Uh, it is uh, more easily to uh, view on different devices. And we also support flexible subscription. So we have two, uh, we have two channel of uh, base uh, camera to uh, use. But you can uh, you can uh, flexible to subs subscribe your uh, channel subscribe more channel for uh, by your uh, requirement. And QVR Elite is also compatible with huge amount of uh, camera models over uh, 100, uh, one, uh, 180 brands and over six thousand seven hundred models of the camera. And we also support ONVIF profile support, uh, ONVIF profile. And the, uh, we have unified interface for uh, live view and playback in anywhere with your PC or mobile devices. So uh, in your PC or mobile devices, you can use our QVR Pro client can uh it can be uh it can view the uh camera footage on your uh pc uh, mac or uh mobile devices as for the uh apple tv we have launched a qvr viewer on the apple tv to uh, help you to monitor your uh your uh surveillance footage from your uh, apple tv and uh, playback as well. And we also have several uh, multimedia streaming platform is support for uh, 74 series. We have our uh, QMagic, which is the uh, AI smart photo albums and auto classification. And we also have uh, Kaiin media sign player that can support H.265 video transcoding. 
and also Plex server for uh, media streaming and your uh, your uh, movie uh, station. Okay, and uh, we also have a storage expansion solution for uh, our NAS. So the first one will be our uh, RAID uh, JBot. So uh, the TR-002 and TR-004, it is our USB RAID JBoss that can uh, connect to NAS, uh, connect, uh, connect to our NAS with the uh, USB 3.2 Gen 1. So uh, TR-002 provide uh, two, uh, two 3.5 or 2.5 inch uh, disk uh, slots. And the TR-004 provides uh, four, uh, edge, uh, four 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch uh, disk slots. And if you need a larger uh, expansion unit, you can refer to our TL-D 800C, uh, which is a A-Bay USB JBot. So you can connect this JBot to your NAS with uh, USB 3.2 Gen 1 or uh, you or 3.2 uh, 3.2 Gen 2 with the uh, Type C connection. Okay, and we also have uh, SATA enclosures for uh, high speed storage expansion. So uh, we have four bay, we have A bay and sixteen bay. So, uh, so the different the different bay count provides different uh, cables and the HBA card. So for the four bay, we provide uh, we provide one QXP dash four hundred ES dash A one one six four, and the one uh, SFF dash A zero A eight cable for the uh, Santa connection, and for the uh, A bay, we provide two uh, SFF dash A0AA cables and uh, uh, dual port card for the uh, SATA connection. And the 16 bay will provide a uh, 16 SATA uh, connection within four uh, SFF dash A0AA to SFF dash A644 cables. Okay, so let's summarize our uh, 74 series. So the uh, new TVS-HX74 series have faster CPU with more uh, core than threads and now support our ZFS file system, which is our uh, QUTS Hero. So as you can see on the uh, four bay models, the CPU is Intel Pentium Gold G7400 and the memory can support up to uh, 128 gigabytes Per sec, uh, gigabyte, uh, which is uh, two uh, 16 4 gig memory module, and the PCI slot is uh, one PCI Gen 4 by 16 and the one PCI Gen 3 by 2, and have four bays of uh, 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch uh, drive slots that supports uh, SATA 6 gig, and also have dual M.2 SSD slots that supports uh pci gen 3 by 2 and for the home family we have dual 2.5 gig ethernet and uh, pre-install the uh, qts hero file system but uh you can also uh, optional to uh, choose uh, to switch to uh, qts okay and for the sixth bay we have uh, i3 and i5 SKU. They, uh, they all have PCI Gen 4 by 16 slots and one PCI Gen 4 by 4 slots and support uh, PCI Gen 4 by 4 M.2 SSD slots. And for the A bay, we, have only, we only have five, uh, i5 SKUs that can uh, support a 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch SATA drives and uh, dual uh, PCI Gen 4 by 4 M.2 SSD slots and a dual 2.5 gig Ethernet, uh, Ethernet port as well and the whole family are uh, backed by a 3-year warranty at no additional cost 
and uh, you can also purchase a uh, extend warranty can coverage up to five years so it is with uh, two additional years you can uh, refer to our official website to choose the uh, ex uh, extended warranty plan okay so here's our uh, 74 series and uh, thank you for your time we'll see you next time